Hey guys, welcome back. We built two robotic bartenders in the past. One was slow, one stopped working, and a lot of you guys were actually asking about why we stopped making videos for that second one. But this time, we're gonna build a new robotic bartender. It's gonna be more portable, sleeker, and smarter, because that's what we do on this channel. Let's get started. Using our trusty miter bots, we cut four pieces of 16 inch one by two planks. You know what, F this. Using our electric miter saw, we cut four pieces of 16 inch plank, four pieces of nine inch plank, and six pieces of 7.5 inch plank. These will be used to build the frame of our bartender. We use some screws to screw two pieces of 7.5 inch planks to two pieces of 16 inch planks to form a box. It was helpful to use a small drill bit to drill a pilot hole before we screw the two pieces together. Then we repeated the process to make a second square. We then attached the two pieces with some 9 inch planks and we used some long screws for this part. Two more pieces were screwed to the top to form a cube. We then measured three inches from the bottom of the cube. Wait, how do I... <laughs> Can't do this with my left hand. We'll add some supports here for the drink platform. Grabbing the last two pieces of 7.5 inch planks, we fitted them in place and then screwed them in with some more screws. These are the pumps that we're going to use to draw the liquid from the bottles into the cup. They're called peristaltic pumps and they have a very consistent flow rate so we'll know exactly how much liquid goes into the glass. This is what the pump looks like when it's disassembled. We have a simple 12 volt brushed motor which is used uh, for the pump and then we have the pump head which looks like this. There's a single silicon tube that wraps around these three rollers. When the pump turns it draws the liquid through this tube without any of the mechanical parts touching the liquid. For this project, we're using a small food grade funnel to channel all the liquid from the pumps into the glass. We have a small 3D printed part to hold it in place at the top of the bartender. It was printed in two parts, so we used some Gorilla Glue to attach them together. And after gluing them, we left them dry overnight. Davis measured the outer width and depth of the bartender in order to make a platform for the drink to sit on. We used some MDF, and this one had a black top so it looked nice, and marked out the spots that we needed to cut with our jigsaw. This piece was 12 by 9 inches. We cut some 1.5 by 0.75 inch slots from the sides of the platform in order for it to slot in and sit on top of those supports that we screwed in earlier. Finally, we cut one last piece of MDF that will serve as our electronics tray for this project. Speaking of the electronics, we're using a Raspberry Pi 3 to control this project. There's also a power distribution board to power the pumps, and those pumps will be powered by a 12 volt power supply. The voltage will be stepped down to 5 volts for the Raspberry Pi with a 5 volt regulator, and all the pumps will be triggered with an 8 channel relay. We use our favorite 3M outdoor mounting tape to mount the electronics to the electronics tray. To make the bartender look nice, we used some PVC project board to make some side panels. It's really easy to mark up and then cut with a box cutter. There are too many sizes to list out here, so I'll just throw those on the screen for you. We cut an access panel out of the side piece to slide the electronics panel in. Then we made a cutout in the front panel. This lined up with the top of the drink platform and was 8.5 inches by 10 inches.
Using some more screws, we screw the side panels in place. Make sure you don't screw these too tight because they'll warp the plastic. Next, I found the center of the top of the bartender, marked it out, and then screwed in our funnel bracket. After that was done, I started wiring out the bartender. It's probably too much to cover here in the video, so I'm attaching a wiring diagram, and you can also find this on the Hackster site, um, and you'll be able to download a full uh, high-resolution photo of this so you can follow along and see exactly what we did. If you have any trouble with this, post a comment on the Hackster page and somebody should be able to help you out. I took a break from the wiring and screwed on the back panel on the bartender. We're using six pumps for this project and all six pumps were screwed into the 1x2 pieces of wood. You can use more pumps if you want, but it'll take some setup in the code. We'll need to pass the wires through the back panel, so I screwed two half-inch holes at the bottom of it. To give the bartender some extra flair, we also added an LED strip to the top of it and secured it with some mounting tape. Meanwhile, we had some 3D parts printing. So the company Robo that makes our 3D printer just hooked us up with a bunch of free filament. So I'm using that right now to print the manifold for our bartender. Thanks, Robo. The manifold routes the tubes from the pumps into the funnel so that they can be poured in the drink. We marked out some points to drill some holes so that the tubes could pass through the top panel. We kind of just eyeballed these by lining the manifold up with the panel. You want to get some food grade silicon tubing so that it doesn't leach any nasty chemicals into your drinks. We cut a few lengths and uh, this is some 2mm inner diameter tubing. We attached them to the pumps and fed them through the manifold into the funnel. The manifold was screwed onto the back of the bartender with some more screws. And we took a soldering iron and wired up all the pumps. You want to make sure that you wire these pumps up in the right direction to pump the liquid. Three of ours were wired counterclockwise and the other three were wired clockwise. We're using an old computer cable to supply some AC power to our 12 volt switching power supply. Generally, the green wire is hooked up to ground, the white wire is hooked up to neutral, and the black wire is hooked up to load. Oh hey, didn't see you there. We're going to add a mini screen on the front of this. It's pretty small, but it's an OLED uh, panel with high resolution, so it should be completely fine for this project. We cut some holes for the button and the screen, and then attach those to the panel. For the screen, we used some 2.5 millimeter screws and then attached a front plate to make it look nice. While that was drying, we printed a cup holder with our fancy new logo. The cup holder has some notches on the back, so we drilled some holes in the drink platform to mount it. It was easiest to do this by marking a center point and then using a protractor to mark some 120 degree angles from the center point. The last thing we did was hook up some input tubes to the pumps and screw the front panel onto the front of the bartender. As a finishing touch, we took some outdoor mounting tape and stuck the electronics panel cover onto the side of the bartender. The code has a few different files for this project. There's the bartender.py file, which is the main file, pumpskinfig.json, and a drinks.py file. 
The drinks.py file has a list of different drinks that the bartender can make. There's a name and then a set of ingredients. Each ingredient has a value in milliliters. There's also a drinks list array which contains all the possible drink options for your bartender. You can customize both of these however you want. The pump config file has all the stored information about which drink is hooked up to which pump and you can modify this file through the config menu on the bartender. There are also a few variables in the bartender.py file that you can modify such as the flow rate for the pumps or the pins that uh, some of the electronic components are hooked up to. To run the bartender, make sure you first install the dependencies with sudo pip install r requirements.txt. Then you can start the bartender with sudo python bartender.py. When the bartender starts up, you should be able to see a list of drink options and a configuration menu option to configure the bartender. All the documentation about how to run the code will be available on the GitHub repository, which will be linked on the Hackster.io page. There's also a section about how to run the code at startup so that you don't have to log in and type some commands in the terminal to run the code. So we just went to the grocery store and picked ourselves up a bunch of adult beverages. Uh, kids, don't try this at home. You can probably replace this with some fruit punch or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and crack these bottles open and hook up the bartender. You might notice that with the Coke that we have hooked up to our bartender, we're losing all the fizz right now. But one thing you can do is take the cap and drill a hole through it and stick the tube through this hole and the cap back onto the bottle. There are two buttons that control this menu. The left button is the advance button and the right button is the select button. If I want to configure the drinks for the bartender, I go to the configuration menu, hit select, and then select into one of the pumps that I want to configure. There are a bunch of drink options in here and you can advance through the drink options and in this case we have pump one hooked up to tequila so I can select tequila as my pump and then the drinks on the main menu will be filtered by the beverages that you have configured for your pumps hey do you want a drink? Uh, sure what do you want? Um, tequila sunrise please watch this What do you think? It's actually pretty good. Ratio is good? Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Cheers. So in honor of Cinco de Mayo that's coming up in a few days, we're going to end this video with a few margaritas. Let's make that a double. All right, that's it for this video. In the future, we want to add Alexa integration to this project so we can make uh, voice activated commands like, hey bartender, make me a drink or something along those lines. If you want to build one of your own, we always put a hackster.io link down in the description below. On that link, we'll have all of the uh, instructions, materials, 3D printed parts, and also uh, a link to the code and wiring diagram. We really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, make sure to show us some love and hit that like button. Uh, you can also add a comment down below if you want, uh, you know, let us know if we did something wrong or if you want to see us add anything new to the bartender in an upcoming video. You may have noticed that we don't post videos super often, so if you want to stay notified of our videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon if you want to uh, get notifications when we post something new. But until then, see you next time. Hello world.